sorry, 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 Friends and family, this is Megan Bowen, aka Charlie Me Goo Sana. Welcome to Nom Vlog number five. So I'm babysitting a cat named Francis. He's kind of vocal. So if you happen to hear a kitty, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. Once he starts meowing, he just meows for like every second for like. Oh, hello, Francis. Yes. Right on cue, Francis. You are awesome. I know you guys hate my microphone, but you're just gonna have to get over that, okay? Okay, so what is a nom vlog without noms? <sighs> Today's nom is my breakfast lunch, my brunch. Because it's the Chuseok holiday, I felt like I wanted to eat lots of things. So, to the market! Look at the rice cakes! Okay, so I'm on a mission to get some side dishes and to get rice cakes. Okay, this is a side dish place. We found it awesome. Yay, we made it to the thuk dip! Oh, look at this long line of people waiting in line for that thuk! Oh no, I'm going somewhere else this time. Okay, so this is what we got for today's noms. First nom is this Thuk, okay. Inside there's sesame seeds and it's green color so it's made with souk and they steam it with pine needles, kimchi. I have all these fried egg dishes. One of them is zucchini, one of them is fish dipped in egg, and the other one's mushrooms with lots of carrots and vegetables, and the other one is like ham and imitation crab and garlic stalks put together with a toothpick and fried. And this is my favorite Korean side dish ever, nyolchi. Nyolchi are anchovies and so I like these ones with the kochu chang on it and my favorite rice is chobap. Cho is millet and I like to cook it with the rice it's really good and that's where the nam for today. Okay my bujangnim for chuseok which is kind of like the Korean Thanksgiving it's kind of like the biggest one of the biggest holidays in Korea and you like give gifts so my bujangnim got me some suzekim. Bujangnim! Chamogasunida! But I went to a kungguksu restaurant and kungguksu is like um is like um ground up soybeans and it serves cold with ice cubes in it and they slice up cucumbers and stuff and you eat it with the noodles, okay? <sighs> so good. I go into the restaurant and... Okay. The Sajang name was drunk. Oh. 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 Very interesting. Very funny times. In other news, I went into a bathroom, go into the stall, handle my business, come out, and then I see. And I was like, excuse me, sir. Uh, is this. What is going on? Huh? And then a woman comes in and just doesn't mind that the dude is there. And this is the second time I've walked into like a unisex bathroom, but it's not a bathroom that's like one person use at one time. And both can just come in and out. Very awkward for me. Very awkward for me. Extremely awkward. Like this bun. <laughs> can you see it? 
You remember my video about the best Korean summer food, the bingsu? Do you remember that? Did you see the bingsu video? <laughs> I got cat hair just got in my mouth. Darn it, I messed up my lipstick. Oh well. I found a bingsu place in Hapde, which is between Hapjong and Hongdaeipku Yok. Okay. And usually they take ice and freeze it and shave the ice. But at this place, they froze the milk. light awesome fluffiness of snow there's a really cute uh korean youtuber he's korean american but anyway so amos made a really funny vi uh, really funny video about like why you should date an asian guy or something anyway it's super funny and super cute you should check it out i'll put the link down below i just watched it again actually this week and i just thought of it now so i thought i would do that because it's awesome now for the giveaway oh my gosh we are over 15,000 people holy smokes you guys are stinking awesome that was kind of loud gd's new album this is my cute day 10. they gave me a folder a g dragon folder yeah like a little pocket folder and they gave me a poster i didn't want to open it because i thought it would be fun if the winner opened it first before i did so when you are the winner whoever you are okay you must open the poster take a picture of it and put it on instagram and tag me in it or something because i want to see what's in this thing but i thought it'd be fun if i let you be the first one to open it <laughs> the candy that i was eating in the last video candy that's so good you guys were asking so i put it in the giveaway too okay next thing you guys were asking about my pearl cat headband i could not find one exactly like mine but it's still equally as cute so i added this because you guys are always asking about that cat headband so here's a similar one yay okay then i got y'all some hello kitty glasses <laughs> the last thing is an earphone cap thingy you stick it in your earphone and it's a little bear and his head bobbles bobble heads all you have to do to enter the giveaway is to like and favorite the video and to comment down below okay but just in the comments below share something that you've learned about korea from watching the videos i'm really curious to hear what you guys have learned and i really try and be I try to be funny as well as educational, telling you things about Korean culture and life in Korea and stuff like that little by little. And yeah, so that's it, okay? So I will let the giveaway go on for one week from the posting of this video. Okay, so if you like this video and you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe to my YouTube page, which is down below. And I will see ya. Okay, so today's vocabulary is as follows. Number one, goyangi. Goyangi is cat. Next, tok. Tok is rice cake. Next, kim. Kim. Kim means seaweed. Next, bujangnim. Bujangnim is like, in a school, is like a head teacher, but it could be some type of manager type person also. And next one, sajangnim. Sajangnim is kind of like the boss or like owner. And next, jai mokesunida. And if someone gives you some food, then you can say, like you're going to eat it well. Before we eat a meal, sometimes we say, and also the next one, mashida. It's mak means flavor, so ita. The flavor is there, so you use that to say delicious. Next one, shijang. Shijang is market, but not like a supermarket like the type of market that I went to. So that's it.